Okay, so we have the reservoirs inside the M-Pack. This is probably the most important video. How do we make it from a backpack to a training pack? So we're gonna learn how to take off the straps, tighten up the Velcro, and then tighten up the front straps, which are designed specifically to make sure that this backpack, which is a little bit bigger, can condense and hold those water reservoirs in place. So again, just how you close it, one, two, three, to where this is now on top, and you pull these down nice and snug. Now before I start the Velcro, I'm gonna show you guys, this is really important, so maybe zoom in a little bit. Um, the way that these are designed to take on and off are easy once you get the hang of it. So if I keep it this way, it's gonna be hard for me to push through. That's what I want it to be. I don't want it be, to be easy for it to push through because then we have a problem, right? So what I do is I go under and make it go diagonal and then push up. See how easy that was? Same thing for this side, go under and push up. Same thing when you're putting the straps back on. I always think about going under and pushing down. And notice that I don't want, you can do it this way where it's coming up straight, but I do prefer the way it looks and the way it feels if I come from the top. So I go down from the top when I'm putting the straps back on and then tighten it this way. Same thing for the bottom. And you'll get the hang of it. So if it's a little bit tighter, don't worry, just turn it to the side. Um, it took me, I mean, I've done this for a long time with all my prototypes, so I'm making it look a lot easier. So don't get frustrated if it's a little bit difficult at first, but you will get the hang of it. Look how cute that little Colorado flag is. <laughs> okay, so straps are off. Now we're gonna work on Velcro. So these Velcro pieces, they're not necessary. So if they're driving you crazy, just cut them off. Um, they could be driving you crazy because sometimes they can get caught on your clothes or whatever you're using, especially if you wear like a certain type of material for your pants. I love them though, so it makes sure that this stays out of the way. So I roll, 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 roll. And then I go the opposite way. So if I went this way, it would, oh, no, that was good. Or you can do this way. That drops down. So do it the, the first way. So here, see how nice and tight those are. Same thing on this side. We're getting sprinkled on, Blake. <laughs> and tighten there. Oh, see that drop. So I, that was weird. We'll go the other way. Wonderful. Okay, so now we still have it as a big backpack. So how do I condense this to make sure that it doesn't move too much side to side? There's two reservoirs in there. All you have to do is pull on one side. So see these nice little finger holes and you pull down. Same thing, flip, cinch down, hold here, cinch down. And notice how this piece goes nice and tucked into that. Last piece, tighten up. Now, same thing for these. If these are too long, you can always double back. Make sure they're out of your way. These guys, I always loop through there. And now, whew, ready, good, ready to go. Now I have my training pack. 